Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, in today's episode, we are checking out the books page. So this is the latest iteration of their 7 inch dedicated e-reader device. So this one is not note taking capable. And this is a direct successor to the uh, 7 inch leaf uh, lineup of products that they've had. They've just renamed it now to page and it's now called where's the light? Where is the light there? And now it's called the books page. So let's unbox it and see what the first impressions are. But before we do, if you do like the work that I do on my deep guide and the content that I bring you here, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and then ding the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Not only are useful videos come out now coming out now and in the future, but also you help the channel visibility and exposure in a good, good way. Also, if you do want to help the independence that uh, my deep guide has because I don't accept uh, sponsorships. Yes, this device has been sent to me by books, but this is a review loan device that goes back to them once I'm done with them. So to so that I can actually, you know, preserve full independence and bring you full transparency about these products. But that means that the my deep guide fully relies on your support. And if you do like that independence and you would like to support the channel, then you can go to mydeepguide.com shop where you can find current two products, MDO and MMD. My Daily Organizer is a hyperlinked PDF file that helps you organize your yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily needs, professional or personal. And MMD, that's My Deep Guide Meeting uh, Planner, MMP, sorry. Um, that one is also a hyperlinked document file to help you simplify, centralize and organize your meeting and meeting needs. If either of these or both products actually sound interesting to you, then you can check out the links down below for their each dedicated playlists with videos that can help describe to you what each product is in much more detail and then you can make a decision if either one or both are the right product for you or not. And now onwards with unboxing the books page. And here we are, the books page cover, and more importantly, the books page package. Books page is a seven inch e-ink reader, dedicated reader. So there is no note taking capabilities available on this one. And this is a direct successor to their Leaf series. So the last in line was Leaf 2. I don't know for what reason this is no longer named Leaf 3, Leaf, <laughs> Leaf 3, but yeah, they're calling it page. So it has a 7 inch HD Carta screen. It is sporting the uh, standard resolution that will give you 300 ppi at that size. It has a dual front light with um, a separate control for both of the lights and intensity. It has an octa-core CPU, so that was the main thing. Leaf 2 and Leaf 1 were underpowered, so Page seems to be trying to rectify that. So this time it comes with an octa-core, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes would have been better but should be sufficient, um, and it has 32 gigabytes of storage. Touch is capacitive, it's running on Android 11, Android 12 would have been better. Um, as far as wireless connectivity, you have your standard uh, Wi-Fi for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and Bluetooth 5.0. Um, then we have also the uh, USB OTG functionality um, for the USB slot where you will be able to actually hook up your peripherals such as a keyboard or a mouse if you want to and um, yeah even I believe that even uh, USB-C to 3.5 inch audio jack uh, converters work on these devices. Um, it comes with a 2300 milliamp battery um, yeah, and then it has a microphone, speaker and most importantly a micro SD slot so that you can expand upon that uh, storage capacity and I believe that it's expanded up to two terabytes. The size format is the same as the Leaf 2 and the weight is a little tiny 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 bit uh, more than on Leaf 2 but nothing really dramatic at 195. All right now let's open it up. Yeah. 
and here is the books page or leaf three. This is actually nice to see this familiar format because I was a fan of the page two. It really did make a lot of sense. It improved a lot of things from the um, yeah page one, and it's good to see that the page page am i calling it really page leaf one and leaf two this is page god so confusing anyway this is the device so you get your usb c cable micro sd slot tool and supporting documentation so it's a fairly standard packaging you get everything that you need nothing more nothing less with the books page let's focus on the device all right so let's slot it out of the protective pouch and here we go so this is a familiar format as before which is a very nice thing to see um, it's a very oh cool this actually I was curious how this is gonna look like and it looks really really funky and really really fun in real life so that's a very very cool thing to see so yeah the weight is pretty much the same and the distribution of weight is pretty much the same as it was on the leaf 2 so that is a good thing to see and those few grams more you really don't feel uh, in the hand unlike that it was the case with the tab mini c versus nova air c i really loved the leaf 2 design and build quality there were really no qualms about it the only absolutely only thing that i didn't like is unfortunately still present here with the um these buttons the separation here is simply not too much so they they could have either separated the buttons a bit more or use the buttons that have a bit more of a bevel so that would have introduced a bit more of a separation here between them so that you can feel which one is which right now this is so smooth that you really it's kind of difficult you can feel this notch but you have to look for it it's not instantly recognizable so if i put my finger here I don't feel that I'm in a notch. I need to start moving the finger and then I will still uh, start to feel that notch. That's because, yeah, they are uh, perfectly aligned, as you can see, and there's not really that much between them. So a bit more of a bevel on these buttons would have solved that problem without the need to retool, remachine or whatever the whole cover. So that would have been a nice thing to see. Other than that, uh, the reflectivity, these are super bright lights. So the reflectivity is not as good as I would have hoped, but I understand why they're doing it. Usually, you know, you, you need to transmit, allow for transmittance of more light so that you can have crisper quality and brighter image but that always will result in brighter and sharper reflections and that is certainly the case with the page as well it was the case with the leaf as well um, but this one is a little bit too much for my taste it's perfectly usable you won't have any real problems with it because you will always be able to find a if there's a glaring you know glare you just kind of move it a bit and there's no glare but it's just something to kind of keep in mind and it would have been nicer to actually see um yeah a bit more of a true matte ag glass the screen is, is, is the screen is flush with the surface um and it feels nice i believe mm, well if it's hd then it has to be glass so this is pr yeah and it's cold so it does feel like glass and this hmm, feels like yeah, this feels like a metal uh, kind of a, some kind of an alloy uh, of the body, which is normally what they're doing. Yeah, definitely. This feels colder to the touch. So it looks like it's a glass and metal combination for the page as well. As far as the layout of the device goes, well, it depends how you orient it. But in this case, they're orienting it this way. So let's do it like that. Uh, on the top, you have nothing. On the side, you have the USB-C uh, charging and data communication, speaker left, speaker right. Then you have the micro SD card slot on the bottom or the top is the power button depends how you orient it and nothing on the other side so on the front apart from the screen we have the buttons these are next and previous page but these are also customizable in the system so you can actually turn them into volume rockers or any other function that you want which is really really cool uh, tiny little books logo 
and on the back i really like the funky back the the back is nice despite it being perfectly smooth here the surface is actually treated in some way that it's kind of sticky as you can see i have to hold it to uh, there we go so only when i approach like cross 80 degrees and it starts tipping over then it slides but for normal operation uh yeah it's definitely sticky enough that it's not a slippery device i really like the new design that they have here it's kind of difficult to catch it in the light here there we go so you can see the, the design that the way it's actually made so it's kind of hip it's kind of fun uh almost graffiti like but either way it gives me a fun vibe and it's not kind of jarring or anything like that so it's it's a nice addition to uh basically it's a characterization to a device so it's a nice little flair overall i loved the leaf 2 and it was one of the better 7 e inch readers out there only hindered due to the performance so it's good to see that page is you know not changing the mold of uh, and, and not trying to mend what's not broken, but they actually trying to mend what was uh, broken uh, by adding an octa-core CPU. So let's do the first power up and see what are the first impressions of the performance for the page. Actually, before we do that, let's tackle the cover first. All right, so here is the books page series uh, cover. Let's get it out of the box. Well, this actually looks quite pretty. So it has the same kind of quality and material used like we saw in the cover for the Tab Mini C. So something that I really liked, no stitching, still no stitching here, but this actually looks quite nice. So you have this kind of uh, faux, faux leather uh, material on the outside, which feels really, really good in the hand. But what I really do like is that we continue with that kind of hip and flare type of thing. Yay, we have magnets here, good. Um, is that this color inside is really, really cool. And again, this kind of plushy, smooth, not plushy, but smooth and soft-ish type of a surface, which is a very nice thing to see. So I guess it goes this way because this is a recess for the buttons. And yeah, here's the book's logo. So that's your front, All right? So you put the device in here like you normally would. And there's good magnets that actually kind of hold the device in place. How secure is it? Okay, it is fairly secure. You need to start going about uh, uh, shaking this thing out of the uh, cover and then only it falls out. When you actually flip it around, it's a really, really nice packaging altogether. Very, very kind of portable. And you, you can see uh, as uh, in relation to the size of my hand, it's very, very cool. It flips around, magnet actually slips onto the back so you don't have to worry about it. And if you don't want to use it, you simply take it out of the cover and that's it. And when you want to put it back in, magnet slots back really, really nicely, slots back here and there you go. So this is a very straightforward and a very nice way to uh, protect your e-reader or a screen. Uh, in this case, it's actually much more than an e-reader because it's an Android tablet as well. So it's an e-ink e-reader tablet uh, that you have here that, uh, yeah, it doesn't add too much to the weight. It doesn't add too much to the thickness because it offers some protection. No, it's not a case, but it does offer some level of basic protection to the screen and to the back of the device. So overall, I really do like the cover and I really do like the overall package. All right, so first power up and let's see how it performs and then we wrap up the video. And um, yeah, then, then, then I can actually commence the testing and measuring all of these things. So I can bring you an in-depth review of the page. I really hope that they've managed to kind of improve the main thing, which was the speed of it. Because yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an overall excellent little package. And with the cover, it really, really feels good. But then again, it does cost a lot as well for a 7-inch reader, but you do get quite a bit. All right, let's go through the initial setup. Okay, so far, far more responsive than what we've had on the, uh, yeah, on the, uh, I keep mixing them up now, leaf two, not page two. Okay, so let's find something like a, there we go. 
Yes, do automatically. Auto sleep five minutes in activity shutdown. Whoa, that's aggressive. 15 minutes. Uh, that's super aggressive. Let's put it to four hours. Gestures, bottom gestures, yes. Gestures swipe up, yes. I don't want a navigation bar. And where's your side gestures? I don't want them on. Good. So the side gestures are off. Actually, uh, this would be cool to there we go. So you can have warm light and this could be customized. Maybe could I customize this? No, we have to customize that later. I was wondering if I can just customize that. We have the volume up and down, uh, volume instead of volume up and down, there is brightness of the uh, front light. And this is the warm light uh, plus and minus so that you don't have to go into any kind of uh, menu so that you can have these kind of gestures and you have your page buttons and then it will work because you are not likely to have your palm on this device, then these side gestures can actually start to make quite a bit more sense. Um, all right, setup is completed. So far, extremely responsive and really, really fast. So yeah, I need to kind of load it up with some stuff. So let's do that and install some apps and then get back to it so that we can see how it works. Actually, uh, let me see. Okay, so overall, already now, this is a lot, a lot faster device. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna do that later on. So we got storage, store. Okay, library app settings. So yeah, the 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 basic navigation is already quite a bit faster than what I remember we had on the um, uh, Leaf Two. And if I switch to a speed refresh, then you can actually see that the device is able to kind of follow along with more rapid actions, which was definitely not the case with the um, Leaf 2. All right, so let's set, set some stuff up and then, uh, yeah, show you actually installation of, sp of uh, apps. I'm gonna show you that as well, so that you know what to expect, but let's do some basic setups first. All right, so I've transferred some documents and I attempted to customize the navigation stuff, but unfortunately, they don't have the stuff really kind of done correctly because if you wanted to like do what I wanted, which was on the left side of the slider to control the intensity, overall intensity of the front light and here to change the color. So from cold to warm, this is something that's possible, I believe on tab ultra C and maybe on tab mini C, but it's not now part of the uh, um, yeah, of the rest of the devices. And again, right out of the gate, we are confronted with the software issues and inconsistencies of the Box UI platform, which instead you can have a separate control here for cold light and for warm light intensity. So if I wanted to, <laughs> I can't set up the shade that I want and then just control the intensity. Instead, you would need to do the whole thing. It's just not usable at all. Uh, I mean, it is usable, but it's I, you don't want to do it that way. Uh, it makes sense if you're just using warm light or cold light, then it does make sense. But for the intended purpose, what I needed, uh, it can't do that because of the above mentioned um, limitations. So let's just see, like uh, I transferred a couple of uh, documents here and uh, it all works as expected. It was really, really nice and fast. So let's just open up some documents for the very first time. This is a larger document. Nope, we're not gonna do any of that. So let's see, po, 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 po. this is in standard refresh. Let's go to, oh, they've changed this completely as well. Let's go to speed refresh and let's see the performance. Really, really good. Okay, let's go to format and let's fit the width so that we can have maximum format here. Yep, and then this one should have auto orientation, I believe, unless it's not turned on. Uh, yeah, auto rotate was off for some reason. So now we have auto rotate. Yep, and then we just keep on switching. And this is in speed mode. This is how the performance is. And if we go into, let's go regal, just to see how 
nice it looks. It looks pretty good. And the image quality and clarity is also quite good. So let's zoom in so that you can see. So here's my finger for reference. And this is the Im image quality. So this is the image quality because this is an image. And this is the text quality that you can actually see. And it works pretty, pretty good. Definitely looks nice and looks okay. A little bit not on a smoogy side maybe that's not due to this maybe this has to do with the extreme yes so when i actually change the dark and lightness which is by default always set up to super super strong then the image actually cl clears up so they do that default settings to kind of pump up the contrast which is something that a lot of people react positively to it's like oh it's strong contrast equals good image quality but not really because all you're doing is you're just exploding the intensity of the blacks and whites and you're losing some of the details and some of the finer points such as when you have smaller letters so that's like a really really easy way to get things uh, to look better and for my taste it just when you when you put the uh, dark enhancement and light enhancement to minimum not their default setting you just get a much much clearer image for sure so yeah, once that's done, the image quality is really, really nice. Let's see the buttons for the page sweep, swap, sweeping, swapping works fine. Let's go to a fast refresh mode so that we can see how that goes. Really, really, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, that works good. There, I still think that they are a little bit too close here i prefer what we have on sage and kobo ellipsa oh not ellipsa but the libra 2 where you do have some separation because when you're holding this device like this it's definitely much more natural to have it like this than like this because you have to do this kind of move here so this is my natural uh way of holding a device like this and then I have to do this. I can't do just press and hold. So ergonomically, design-wise, yeah, it looks nicer. Ergonomically, not so much. How does that work when you're here? Yep, this is a lot better. And in this case, yeah, this is a bit more ergonomically correct and it works as I would expect it to. Uh, the only thing, as I mentioned before, it would be nice to have a bit more beveled edges on the buttons so that your finger can actually determine when you set it down on which button it is that you don't have to kind of slide. But it's not a big deal because you can just do this and normally it will work just fine. So first impressions here is that the main thing that was the issue of, with the Leaf 2 and Leaf 1, which was the speed, is most definitely or has most definitely been addressed by the page okay so that's good the image quality is quite okay i mean it's it's uh, actually more than okay it's very nice let's just do some image quality settings here so yeah this is the standard document that i use here and let's turn on the uh dithering so that the image is nicer there we go and this is in speed mode i believe are we in speed mode yes so let's go to regal to see how is the maximum quality and this is just really really nice uh, let's just put the formatting so that it's normal there we go I think that the performance and, and the image quality is just gorgeous. This is actually really, really pretty. Um, very, very, very nice looking image quality here. And it is impressive how this, this is quite, quite nice. I really have to say. And the ghosting is not such a problem and the speed is not such a problem at all. I mean, you can see the clarity here. Let's see with the tiny, tiny font. So here we are at the maximum zoom level 
and you can see that the image quality is crisp and the contrast is nice even on the lowest setting it's really really nice and it's uh it makes the readability of even the tiniest font really really legible and easy so yeah so far so good we got the design check the performance check image quality check reflections check ish <laughs> they're sketch ish but it works it's not on the bad side uh, uh but yeah i mean this just really looks beautiful 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 all right so let's check the overall performance when we get to the play store i have intentionally not installed or downloaded anything because i want to check and show you the performance so let's download the kindle app so that you can see in real time how does all of this look like so yeah first we have the download speed which is really good really quick and now it's going to perform the installation process which normally takes a bit of time about a minute or so on other devices no less than a minute so we will see how this one performs and once it's whoa that was fast all right so that was really fast so now let's queue in a couple more apps so let's do uh, youtube so we will queue in YouTube, then I'm going to do the uh, Kobo app, New Kobo, there we go. Uh, so we're going to do Kobo install, then I'm going to do Audible as well. Uh, there we go. So that's Audible right so that's that and now i'm gonna wait and see where we're at so youtube has already been installed um, and we are waiting for kobo and the audible to actually be installed do we get that notification here oh well i mean do not disturb so I don't have the notifications by the way yeah that's one of the first things that i do i just go to do not disturb and mute to just kind of make sure that this is a uh, a normal reader there we go we got one more installed that will be kobo books is now done and let's see audible how long it that will take but overall the response the responsiveness of the device and everything is what i would expect i do not perceive this to be on the slower side of things or anything like that because this is usually how long uh, these apps take to kind of install uh, and you know it's it's really nice that you have the google play enabled out of the box so let's just wait a little bit for the audible there we go and now we have the audible as well all right so that's basically the performance that we have of installing i'm not going to go into kindle and into kobo i gotta set up the accounts and blah 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 all of that is going to be in the in-depth review but um yeah you can expect it to work as good as it did on leaf 2 or better than on the leaf 2. so this actually works and in fact actually let's just see opening speeds of the apps did i tap yes i did all right so that would be the opening speed of kindle kobo yep very responsive very 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 responsive and fast audible also very very responsive and fast and let's see youtube yep fast and opens up nicely let's see let's go to a2 mode and there's an x mode as well which does allow for some kind of videos to be shown uh, i don't know what this is okay so the, the cool thing is that the buttons are actually pre-programmed to make sense so i would have expected them to control volume and they did in here and this is the x mode x refresh mode speed on the uh page and i think uh, yeah let's just try and get it to be full screen so that's how this looks like sounds like this 
so it's competing with cars like so it's really really thin but for voice content which is most likely what you will be looking for it definitely works so it's as i said it's far more than a reader it's an android tablet and with the x mode actually working okay you can watch content on youtube on your 17 inch e-reader without too much problems so the ghosting is there but it's nothing catastrophic in the a2 mode we would need to adjust the flickering thing so that it's where's the flickering filter no we we are at least i can't find the uh anti-flickering option so yeah that's kind of that uh, yeah, not now so let's see yeah i've eliminated the dark color and light color enhancement as i said it's too strong uh for my taste by default so let's go back to x mode and press play and just see how does this look like Okay, so now it's okay. So, you know, even with these kind of effects, it just is working like a YouTube. Uh, uh. So it's just kind of offers you a way to watch YouTube videos on your 7 inch reader. That's pretty, pretty cool to kind of see as an extra functionality. Well, all right, the books page. Um, I like the books leaf. Um, and I've discussed already the things that I was not sure of. Books page makes a heck of a lot of sense to me. And it is definitely, the first impressions are that it definitely, definitely delivers the main thing that was lacking on the Leaf 2, which is a performance bump. So that one, already now, I can see that it works. What is left to see is basically how do the quirks of the operating system updates that are a constant menace on the books platforms how do they reflect on the books page what do we have what we don't have for example the main thing was yeah in the customizing of the side uh, panels well if i was doing that on the books tab mini c or on the tab ultra c i would have been able to do that but i can't customize them in the way that i wanted to which is intensity on one side and color blending on the other, cold to warm. That you can't do on this one, and that's really, really strange. That is a very minor thing, but it is an indication of a bigger problem that I usually talk about when I talk about books devices, which is the state of the operating system or the user interface of their system and the user experience of their system. So that remains to be seen. How is it reflected and how is the actual user experience with the page uh, from books because obviously this is going to be a good and really really capable performing device the second thing that also remains to be seen in the in-depth review is the battery life because it does have a slightly larger battery and that is to accommodate the needs of the uh, much more powerful processor but also much more efficient processor which is the octa-core cpu that it has now so Definitely has more performance, has a little bit more battery. Let's see how it reflects with the battery life when it is compared to the Leaf 2. So that remains to be seen and you can, you know, ding the notification bell and subscribe to the channel to get notified when the videos come out, including the in-depth review of the books page. What do you think about the product? How does it seem to you? Uh, what do you think about the renaming and rebranding of from Leaf to Page? Why might have they done that? It's it's a completely relevant thing, but I'm just kind of curious. And also, yep, yeah, do you guys kind of own something like this? Are you interested in owning like this? If you're interested, what are you interested in? Um, yep, yeah, so that I can maybe address some of those things in the upcoming in-depth review. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.